What I'm about to tell you is gonna blow your mind, but Supercell have finally done something nice. They have given us a free evolution, of course, on the free-to-play account. I did choose Firecracker, and this truly changes things. So let's just accept this real quick. That is a sight to behold. That is beautiful. God, man, I never want to click off this screen. I, don't, I can't even bring myself to do it. And there we have it. That's an evolution, which means I can now put the Firecracker in the evolution slot, but it doesn't stop there. Because a couple of episodes ago, we also got the Mighty Miner, which means I can play Evolution Firecracker with the Mighty Miner, you know, instead of this sh And it doesn't stop there, all right? As you can see here, we're 500 cards away from upgrading the Firecracker, and I've put out a little trade offer here, 250 Firecrackers. Now, you might be wondering, Saxon, where are you going to get the other 250 wild cards? Take a look here. In the Path of Legends, if I just win one, two, three games, or is it just two games? I don't know. I can't do maths, man. Then we get the the 250 wild cards we can upgrade this card and that's money moves two money moves in one day what is going on now the evolution pekka did just come out and it's disgusting and it does counter hog pretty hard but we're just gonna ignore that that exists and uh, we're just gonna have a good time and get on with our day right please don't play against someone with a golden name because they'll definitely have that shit and that's not fun this is the first time playing with the evolution firecracker for me on this account of course anyway we're gonna we're gonna assert dominance on this firecracker by going for the log oh my god we're playing against a mirror matchup it seems what are the odds he he doesn't activate king i don't know how that just worked all right we're just gonna chill for a second all right let's relax we've got some damage already we're in a good position here right, we'll go for the hog and ice spirit but yeah for those of you kids who don't know right this is some science facts with saxon right here you can hear a wider range of frequencies than older people can like your parents those old fucks don't tell them i said that kids um <laughs> those guys can't hear anything right they're like little deaf babies but they're actually old and um the reason that i'm bringing this up is because i was with a couple of school people not too long ago some of my friends from school and then it got me thinking about all the all the pranks we used to do back when we were in school i mean we were horrible students we're gonna go for the ability here that's gonna kill the goblins get some damage on the tower and what more could you ask for that is why we play the mighty miner all right kids it's important you know this fact too. Mighty Miner is objectively better than the Valkyrie in all situations. One of the pranks we used to do, as you get older and older, you start to lose the ability to hear higher frequencies. And one of these dumb pranks we used to do was that we would... <laughs> This is so stupid, man. It makes no sense. We used to go onto the internet, right? and you can do this at school, kids, if you want. Um, in fact, do it right after this video. We would go onto the internet, search up frequency player, set it to like... 17,000 I think that's what it was like 17,000 Hertz or some, something like that. It's like a high noise, right for you guys It's annoying as shit. It's like a Kind of sound I am a skilled impressionist. I know we're, we're gonna go for the uh, Poison here on that you just let those goblins get a bit of damage. I don't really care evil firecracker by the way This is my first time playing it and it's gonna work wonders for us. Watch this Watch that. Wow. That just did so much work and it activated King. That is great. That is why we have it. And we'll go for the hog here. Plus the log. Catch the uh, the skeletons. And that's a good game, man. And so yeah, basically you would you would start as high as possible. And then you'd start to you start on like 20,000 or like 25,000, whatever. Even you can't hear that, right? And then you start to like tone it down slowly and slowly. And you put this on max volume, by the way, until all of your classmates start to look around and they're like, what the fuck is that noise? Why is it so loud and annoying in my ears, right? As soon as you get right around that sweet spot where everyone is super annoyed, you then look at the teacher. And what you'll see is that the teacher can't hear anything. And so all you're doing is you're annoying everyone else and you're not annoying the teacher because he can't hear anything. He doesn't know what's going on. And uh, we used to just find that funny. <laughs> Literally, that was it. Like, it's a prank on the teacher. But the thing is, you guys are the ones that are going to lose your hearing. He's just chilling. He's just standing there walking around the room, oblivious as to what's going on. And uh, yeah, that's 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 what we would do. I don't know, man. We're not not the brightest kids, not gonna lie. Wait, we'll go for the guards here first. Just That should defend kind of everything. Oh my god, Firecracker OP, man. Everyone's playing Firecracker so far. We're gonna go for the Ice Spirit here to hopefully activate King. Nope, completely fucked that up. I think that's a deep barrel. And okay, we're fine. Yesterday, I did a stream and that was fun. I, I don't do those too often here. We're gonna wait. Go for the ability here and hopefully this... Kills the firecracker. All right, we need to chill because so far I'm going way too aggressive and it's going to come back to bite me in the ass. We don't like getting bitten in the ass, all right? But yeah, I did stream yesterday and it was fun, but I also did post a horror game and a lot of you guys seem to enjoy that. Also, I mean, it did kind of bad because the thing is when you stream, then like YouTube starts showing everyone your streams. And so I kind of streamed similar time to when I posted the horror game. Didn't really give it a fair shot at uh, doing well at all. 
I just kind of shut down that video by uh, <laughs> by doing the stream because basically the stream was recommended to people and then therefore the horror video was not and then people clicked on the stream and didn't click on the horror video and then boom that's your video gone we're gonna pop the ability here because I'm expecting the uh, the gang Okay, ability just decides to not go off. That's really useful. Thank you, Mighty Miner. A lot of you guys seem to enjoy the horror game, so in case it didn't pop up for some of you guys, then uh, go ahead and watch that if you wanna. Uh, it was fun. Not the most scary thing in the world, but kind of. Kind of entertaining, man. I liked it. I enjoyed it. We're gonna go for the ability here. That's gonna be fat value. And by the way, some people have been asking me why I play the poison instead of the earthquake. Obviously, Earthquake is good, but I have a high-level poison on this account, and so it does actually work pretty well, because what happens is when you use the Earthquake, some sometimes you just go against hard counters and there's almost no way for you to ever win the game. Whereas with the poison, you can basically just defend all game, poison cycle their tower, and then uh, win game. It's really that simple. We're gonna go for the hog here as well. And so even if this hog doesn't connect, the poison's just slowly chipping away at his tower. It's gonna put in some work, but it also means that you can defend against things like minion horde when you use your firecracker and you're not just instantly dead. Now, let's not lose the game here whilst I'm trying to give advice. All right, all right, we need to win this, all right? No! No, oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm actually dead. He can just go for a barrel here. So we gotta have the guards at the ready for when he decides to go in for a goblin barrel. Okay, guards, and then... Nice, we take no shots. I'm going ham here. We gotta save our log. Make sure we don't play that on the princess. We'll play the poison instead. This should get some good value. Hulk's gonna get onto the tower. One. Two. No way. Alright, we've got we've got the log down for this barrel here. We can go. Firecrackers on tower! We actually somehow managed to win that. Hey man, that wasn't even close. It's actually rather uh, casual of a game, to be honest. I wish it was more intense. I wish he played a little bit better there. And there we have it. 250 wild cards. Now all I need is for someone here to do the trade. Does anyone can do the trades? Also, one more win and we do get the lucky drop. So let's just, whilst we wait for this, let's just hop into another game. But I did find the horror game really fun. I've been thinking though, maybe what I'll do is on stream. I oh, will keep streaming Clash Royale. I've been really enjoying that lately and um, it's just kind of nice. Obviously, it's a game that's pretty chill, like, for me. Even if I'm uh, not playing particularly well, like yesterday, I can still do semi-decently. By the way, I didn't mean to play those guards there. That was a finger slip. Uh, shit. Okay, we'll go for the... <laughs> Man, as soon as I start talking about how, like, decent I am at the game, I just get... Oh, my God. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna pull this all back with the Mighty Miner. It's comeback season. We can't lose against Ice Burgers. But I've been thinking... How about on stream, sometimes I just mix it up and play horror games. I feel like that would be kind of fun. Uh, but anyway, that's just something I've been thinking about. No idea if I'll ever actually do it or not. We're gonna go for the guards here, plus the hog. Put some pressure on, also go for the firecracker in this lane. Try and get some damage. He's got the wizard, of course he does. Of course he does, that's great. Um, how are we gonna defend this P.E.K.K.A.? You know what, maybe I just give up. I spirit pull that back. Okay, that's the perfect pull. We're gonna go for the ability here as well. Uh, make sure that Pekka has to walk a little bit further. Pekka should die to the tower, and I can basically ignore that uh, wizard. And I should be fine. We'll go for the guards here too for this battle ram. This is not too bad of a position. We'll go for the hog as well. See what he does here. Maybe he'll play the bandit or something. All right, that's a bad zap, man. Dagger Duchess is halfway through uh, her... Oh, no way. Evil Firecracker in hand. I think this is winnable, all right? I know all of you out there are doubting me right now, especially if you saw yesterday's stream, which, you know what? Fair enough, man. We'll go for the Mighty Miner in the back. Activate the three-card cycle, because that's the whole reason we have it. We'll go for the Firecracker here. Protect it with the Ice Spirit plus the guards. Oh my god, that's just free damage on his tower. Okay, what's gonna happen here? We'll go for the low Tesla. We'll go for the Ice Spirit to pull that up. We'll go for the guards as well. Okay, he just used his Skarmy, so I'm fine to go with the Hog Rider here. That's one shot. That's two. Okay, we got his tower. Bro, we're back in the game. What did I tell you? It's just... It's nothing but clean and clinical gameplay for me. I'm... <laughs> All right, uh, let's just chill out a little bit. We'll go for the guards here to protect this Tesla. Mighty Miner's putting in some work, killing both the bandit and the ghost. It's gonna kill the other ghost as well. Oh my god, that's a dirty card, man. We're gonna play the Mighty Miner in the back again, get back to our three card cycle. Let us commence the hog spam right after I play this Tesla. Uh, actually, no, whilst I defend this because that that's kind of scary, man. I spirit to stun that. Nope. The battle ram, fuck off. Bro, can these die? Holy Jesus Christ. No, wait, my King Tower. We're gonna pop this bomb here, kill the Skarmy, go for the Hog again. We want to keep the Mighty Miner alive as long as possible, so we get the three-card cycle, and this should be game. Ghost is on my tower! No, 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 no! Oh, we win. We're fine. Oh, we get a giant chest as well. Now, has the trade been completed? Fatal farts, please fart in my mouth. Come on now. 
Bro didn't even trade with me and he's demanding things like this? Fuck off. And yes, I will do it if he does trade. And whilst we wait for that, We'll open the lucky drop. So this is gonna be a legendary. Oh my god, man. That would have been so sweet. And let's just see what we get here. That is actually perfect. I have three common books. All right, I have so much planned in my head right now. That's one book for each common that I have in my deck. The series will end faster than you expect if I keep getting more of these books. As a last ditch effort, how about we just key some of these chests and pray that we get the firecracker. That's not the firecracker, man. How many keys do I have left? Six? All right, let's see what we get. Firecracker? No, give me firecracker. I know you want to give me firecracker. We're so close, dude. Okay, I just refreshed the trade to uh, bring it back up to the front. And whilst we wait, let's just hop into another game. And let me just give you guys an update on what's going on right now. So I've been looking for a house in uh, Manchester. By the way, this video has been uh, a strange video. Very strange. I, I mean, I've had a busy day. I had a leg workout this morning. But anyway, no, the, the, the part I was gonna talk about, man, I keep getting distracted, is that I live in Manchester when I go to university, right? Obviously, if I go to uni there, I have to find a place to live. And so I've been trying to find a place to live. Now, the issue is that um, there has been no place to live that is willing to accept me for some reason. Maybe because they know that I'll be recording videos and uh, screaming all day, or maybe, they're racist. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but no, seriously, it's been it's been super difficult to find a place to live. But today I finally found one and uh, I gave them all my information. And so now we just have to wait and see. Now I'm praying they're going to let me live there because uh, believe it or not, I don't want to be homeless. Being homeless is not how you get in the cool kids club. You know, I, I hear that that's kind of a, a turnoff for a lot of people when it comes to trying to make friends. I'm like, yo, guys. You know, I go to uni here, but I am homeless. And they're like, ah, uh, we don't want to be friends with you. We're sorry. It's a cruel world out there, man. People don't care. All they care about is uh, materialism. Like, how shallow can you be, man? We're going to go for the ice spirit there. The wizard does not get a shot. Now we can go in for the hog again. Just keep putting some pressure on. I mean, what's the point of playing hog firecracker if you're not just going to keep spamming the bridge? Watch this. He goes for a mini P.E.K.K.A. We'll ignore those guards coming at our tower. We'll just go for the evil firecracker. Get free damage on the tower. Go for the log as well. Firecracker dies, but you know what? Look at his tower. Should I care? How do you even punish this deck? Maybe I should start playing Hog on my main account. No. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I get these intrusive thoughts and uh, I actually entertain them for a second. And then I realize that minor is love, minor is life. And there's no chance in hell I'm ever doing that. We are going to go for the Ice Spirit here. Make sure we freeze that uh, E-Wiz. We'll go for the Mighty Miner as well. Just make sure that Tesla stays alive. And then we can pop the ability here. That's going to be value. We'll go for the Hog Rider again. And uh, he's going to go for a Mini P.E.K.K.A. or the Guard. So we'll go for the Firecracker. And that's just free damage on the tower. And that's his tower gone. That is such a fair card, man. And the fact that it's evolutionized only makes me uh, hornier. Is that the right word? I don't know. We're going to activate King here as well. We'll go for the Guards to surround this Sparky. And so yeah, hopefully I get this place to live. Hopefully... I can actually get to the country and uh, film videos immediately so I don't deprive you guys of content. Because believe it or not, the other knock-on effect of me being homeless is not just having no friends, but also no videos. You know what? We'll just play one more, key this last chest, and if I don't get the firecrackers, then that's got to be it for today. Because uh, I have some houses to look for, you know? I mean, I applied to one, but we don't give up there, right? It's like girlfriends. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> it's uh, no, just with, with housing. You never know what they're going to say. Some guy could just be like, you know what? You, have, you meet all the requirements. We should like you, but for some reason, I just... How did that not go off, man? Uh, for some reason, we just don't. And we're not going to accept your thing. We don't trust you. And uh, yeah, fuck you. You don't get the house, buddy. And then all I have to say to that is, uh, okay, there's literally nothing stopping them from saying that. We'll go for the ice spirit. We should only take a couple hits here from this bandit. I said a couple hits. A couple hits. We're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. He's going to go for the guards or whatever he has. Prince. It's free damage. Whatever you play, it's free damage, man. There's literally nothing you can do about it. I propose that we're only going to win this game by using the firecracker damage. I am not going to take his tower with any other sort of method. So right here, firecracker should tickle the tower. Okay. Wait, I just realized something, though. If we don't play the hog, then why would he ever play anything behind the tower? And then what is stopping... How am I going to get damage with the firecracker? I'm going to log and miss his tower. Like I said, we're only going to get damage on the tower with the firecracker. I don't know why I've committed to this goofy thing, but I have, all right? We'll go for the Mighty Miner now, get to the three-card cycle, and hopefully this will make him play some stuff. So we'll go for the ability here. No, Bandit! Get the fuck off my... No, Baby Dragon's on my tower too. Holy shit, holy shit. All right, now play something on those guards, please. Okay? Cycle to the firecracker. Come on, surely. Surely, bro! Kill the prince. Please, firecrackers. 
do something. Tickle the tower. We've got the three firecrackers down. I'm gonna go for the log again to miss. We're back to another firecracker, another evolution one. Okay, this does it, right? This does it. Come on. Come on now. Stop being silly. Just let me take the- Oh my god, that log's gonna hit the tower too. Let the firecrackers take your tower. Oh my god, thank god. Let me just, uh, you know, send him a little heart from the firecracker herself. We do get a chest here. Oh, we got the trade! No way. Okay, so I don't even have to key that chest. We can just go for this into the firecracker. And there we have it. Level 13 evolution firecracker. Two advancements in one day, man. That's the type of shit I live for. That's why we have the free-to-play account. You know, when we do play on the normal ladder, I am gonna have to make the decision between the evil Valk or the evil cracker, but is it even a decision at this point? Like, come on now. Obviously, we're gonna go for this. And yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. Pretty cool, man. Click there if you want to see another video. Like, comment for the algorithm, subscribe. And um, let me know just how much you love the firecracker down in the comments below.